Since SMOD 10.1, video projectors in the stage can be calibrated. In other words, we can align the position and optical parameters of the video projectors with its actual configuration and physical location. To achieve this, we'll need common reference points between the virtual stage and the real-world scene. In SMOD, these reference points are called locators. Locators are coordinates tied to the model meaning their position is defined by the model itself. The model should be modeled as precisely as possible. A 3D object imported as a surface within the stage. While the calibration system in SMOD is designed to reposition the video projector, it can be important in some cases to pre-position it. In the case where your real-world projector is installed on its side, it may be relevant to rotate it 90 degrees in SMOD. To create locators, I switch to Edit On mode in the stage. Then, after selecting my surface, I hold Ctrl and proceed to create the locators by clicking on the spots that seem most relevant to me. We'll come back later in the video to the relevance of these coordinates. To start, I'll just create four locators at the front face corners. My series of locators is created. I can now move on to the 2D correspondence step. From the dual view workspace, I make sure to have a preview of the stage and a preview of the projector I want to calibrate. It's connected to a video output. I can clearly see that it's not calibrated. Its position doesn't match its real position. And the same goes for its optical settings. In the video projector's processor, I deactivate the mapper and I ensure I'm in edit on mode within the video projector's viewport. I also enable the mouse cross option. From my stage here, I hold control and I select a first locator and the projector device. Then, while holding control, I create its correspondence in the projector's 2D view. If I want to be more accurate, I can select this 2D correspondence and use the arrow keys to reposition my points. For an even greater precision, hold shift and use the arrow keys. To create the second locator, the process is the same. I select the video projector, I hold CTRL, select the locator, then still holding CTRL, I create its correspondence on the video mapping. The correspondence step is complete. We can move on to the first calibration step. Right-click on the projector, then in Tools, Calibrators, create a VP calibrator. Let's reactivate the mapper and visualize the projector's position in the stage. We can start our first calibration by selecting the calibrator and clicking on the Calibrate button. The calibrator tried to find the projector's position and its optic settings based on the correspondence. However, in my case, no depth information is available. Indeed, the four locators I created are all on the same plane. So the calibration can be improved by adding locators that provide the calibration algorithm with depth information about the model. You can create new locators on your geometry at any time and create their 2D correspondence on the projector you want to calibrate. In my case, it might be beneficial to add depth information to this model by creating a locator at this position, a second at this spot, and a final one at this location. I can then go back to the 2D correspondence step. To clarify, 
I once again disable the mapper, ensure that the mouse cross option is still checked, then select the locator, I hold control, I select the video projector, and still holding control, I create its position in the 2D view of the video projector. I reactivate the mapper and restart the calibration. The next step is to refine the position of my locators and perform more calibrations to achieve an optimal outcome. A VP calibrator is similar to a parameter bank, meaning that if I select it and unfold it, I can see exposed parameters that automatically set the values of my video projector, whether in optics or orientation or position. Sometimes you might not want the calibrator to adjust your optic settings, for instance. You just need to disable the parameters of this parameter bank. The calibration will not perform any actions on these settings. Additionally, the VP calibrator, like any other parameter bank, has its own state. I can then edit this calibrator and find here the various calibration states. We can thus compare my initial positioning from the positioning deduced from four points placed on the foremost face to its final calibration. If your calibration seems imperfect, you can try understand where the error comes from by going to the video projector settings in the calibration tab. Each locator with a 2D correspondence shows a pixel error. If one locator has a high error, the issue might be its 2D correspondence. Also, check its 3D positioning in relation to your surface model and ensure its 2D correspondence is correct. Remember, that you can exclude points from your calibration. Just uncheck them from this list. Finally, if you're far from the projection surface and have difficulty seeing where your locators are, you can increase their size in the preview of your video mapping by adjusting the helper size parameter.